is five red lights. And it won't be lights out and away we go. But we are away now. And maybe Mattia Manga getting a slightly better start than Ronan. Dodo also getting a very good start. Uh, Ronan's going to hold the inside. Mattia Manga round the outside. And I believe that is Aya Huasca off at the back. And that's Dodo round, I believe. Yeah, Dodo's been spun round. Um, ah! Malakai up to P3. It's a double Mercedes podium. As of right Kasper, now, Kasper, Kasper's been taken out. Kasper's had an incident. Kasper and Dom having an incident. Uh, Nicholas into P13 having a little battle with Dodo. Can, and Dodo's had the position. But now Mabulite's going to go down the inside of Nicholas. Can he get the move done on him? And Nicholas holds it round the outside. Oh, Haskar going a bit more aggressive on the uh, on the mediums. You can see oh, the back there. Dodo's oh, Dodo's in the wall. Oh, that's Dodo again. So Dodo getting an incident, I think, with Raikou there. Having to reverse, reverse onto track. That's a no wing. On the Alfa Romeo. Oh, the throw got... Oh, there's Malakai. Oh. Oh, oh he's ghosted. What's what? up there? So Malakai's ghosted. I don't think there's a DNF there. I'll invite Raikou back. But um, yeah, Malakai trying to get down the inside of turn one. Push to the outside of turn two. Look at that. And Matea Manga defends the position. I'm going Oh, as Matteo Manga gets past. Oh, it's... safety car. I'm gonna try. Oh, I was gonna try and see what happened with it on Dodo's onboard, but he's gone into the pit, so. Oh, Boom Boy with a drive through. So, Javo as well. Oh, I think it's the Canada glitch. But I don't think he'll score the points because I think they've used all their reserves in this division. And yeah, you're right. Javo got spun to the back as well. The only driver to drop back. Malachi around the outside. Look at that. Malachi around the outside of turn eight. Unbelievable. Oh, he's going to get an illegal that. overtake, though. Uh, it might be, Surely, yeah. He, he went off the track. It might be, yeah. So, he might have to give position back. It doesn't look like he wants to. Nicholas trying to go around the outside of Mouse. As a spinning oh. car. Koi! Koi in the corner incident. And so is Mabulech, I think. The Koi's dropped back. I think he might have rejoined just behind um, behind Corby. Has the Koi's rejoined in P8? Malakai down. Oh, Mal's Paul. down to P9. Face Dom in P10, putting the pressure on. All the drivers on top of each other. Rosman down the down the outside. Of the pair oh, he's been spun. And the P1 and two, two and three have spun together. Kino, who was leading this race so well, he's dropped down to the back. Failing squashes up to P2. Malakai <laughs> in P3. This is unbelievable stuff. I think we've got to applaud failing squash at this point. P2. It's unbelievable. For a Division 4 driver who just couldn't make the race in. Comes Malakai. Race Division 2. Down the inside goes yeah. Malakai. Makes the position into turn 1. He's finding his confidence again. DRS will be enough. DRS might just drag him towards. Here we go. Going towards the hairpin. Oh, Malakai. A little bit of a late move there. You see Corb going to go around the outside. He's taking his nose there. Failing into the hairpin. He thought about it. Into the chicane, sorry. Yeah, he did. He had a bit of a tire line there. Might allow Malakai to get back through. We go with battery on. Failing's got the DRS though because of the linked DRS traits. Will Malakai go for a dive? Yes, he will. Malakai Ooh. down the inside of turn one. Look at that. Failing. Trying to switch around the outside. He's going to leave the inside for Malakai to open up. He's got the position. I think Corb is trying to take his nose down the inside. Can't quite do it. As they race towards turn three, Malakai holds the position. Corb backs out a bit. Smart. These two. They're going to show for us at the front. He's all oh, running over the strips there. I think Malakai pushed him wide. And Corb. Oh, sorry, not Corb. Failing cut the corner. Because Malakai, I think, may have forced him there, but we'll have to see. They go failing, looking down the inside, looking like a bit of a rivalry between these two now. They're being very close together. Look at it, down the inside goes Dodo on Koi, forcing him all the way wide. He's got a better exit. Will it be the soft tyres? It may be six laps old, but it's going to be a battle onto the exit. Dodo's got no battery left, so it might actually be um, Koi, who yet gets the whole car ahead. Koi stays ahead. You can see failing squash into the inside once again, going towards the uh, chicane. Wasting a lot of Malakai's time, I imagine. It goes through the chicane, all goes over the rumble strips. I guess allow Corb to go through. I think the other McLaren's gonna follow. It's a double overtake for the McLarens. But here comes Dodo, who's trying to stick his nose down the inside. That's wasted all their time. There's three of us going into turn one. Dodo's clipped the corner. I think he's collided with Miles as well. He's got spinning out the way. So Malachi and Failing have wasted their time too much. Both McLaren slipped through. That's exactly what the Orange Papaya team wanted. He was joined the back of this pack. And oh, a little bit of a touch there from FaZe Dom on the back of Casper. And oh, what's up there? Malachi's gone again. So Malakai definitely threw all issues. He's spun on his own again. And Casper's got past Fairly Squash as well. If they start fighting, then they won't be. And this driver's dropping down. That's Kino, who's ghosted. Oh, I, I think, think he spanned Mabulite. Oh, you might be right, yeah. So maybe, I think going into the chicane again, 
He's been caught in an incident. Casper going for a push back. Look at that, going through the hairpin. He's trying to get down the inside. Not quite a will there, but Casper did go for that push back. You can see the failure squash was on his inside as well. So really good awareness there by the Ferrari. Wasn't able to make it stick though. Miles has had the battery advantage now. It must be so difficult for him trying to get past these cars. Oh, he goes face off down the inside of the chicane. Will totally be left to space. Yeah, he will. That's how you do that chicane. That's how you do it nice and safely. And phase dump gets through. Uh, Rosman has... Oh, Rosman's retired! And Rosman's lost it at turn two. And that's a, a virtual safety car. So Dodo gets hot. Well, how is oh, Jay the safety car. I see the safety car in the pits. It said virtual, but I can see the safety oh, car coming out. Oh, yeah. And Chavo's had the same issue as before. He got another drive-through. Uh, yeah, so you can see Corley's dropping back. That's really smart them the McLarens. Giving Corley think... as much gap as possible. Into pits goes Corley. He's yeah, driving I oh! I just... He's got a drive through. I said so. so. You can't. You have to be under the delta going into the pit. So Coy will be fine. That's so unlucky. And Mal's got a three. Mal's got a five. Hitting the back of him. I assume that will get removed. Maybe. Removing a drive. How do you remove and... a drive through? Yeah, Jable. No, he got five seconds. Yeah, Jable, that was just speeding. That was just speeding normally. He's now got two drive throughs. No, Mal. I'm talking about Mal's though. Mal's got um five oh, seconds. That should, drive through. That should get removed. Yeah. So Mal's Javel's just been disqualified. Yeah, he's got two, two yeah, he's got two drive throughs. <laughs> and look, oh look at that! So so um that is genius. So Corbinian has pulled off the track to give Coy the position because he knows he has to serve the drive through. Really good teamwork there by Coy. Oh, he's letting everyone through, I think. Oh no, he's, he's just letting Coy through. Really good teamwork there by Corby. He's gonna hold <sighs> Casper. Oh, he's gonna hold up Casper. So McLaren truly potentially still a front row a front running team. And the teamwork that these two are sharing is unbelievable. Once again, even though Coy, sorry, even though the, um, the Corb is in the desperate despair of a drive through, Look that at is him. five car lengths. He's holding them back. I think that's five car lengths. The 10 car lengths, sorry. So away goes Mateo. He's going to lead him away. Coy's had a brilliant restart. Oh, and Casper's him. Oh, Casper's him. Oh, you're right. So he's going to lose position. But here we go. He's going to Coy around the outside of turn one, forced all the way onto the grass. He's going to hit the outside line. Coy now is the inside of turn two. He's going to force. Him all the way wide, I think Kamal's has just got the outside line. As Mal still holds on, it's going to be wheel to wheel. Going towards turn three. This is going to get dangerous. Koi down the inside, just off track limits. But I think he's made the position stick. Koi is oh. up to P2. Unbelievable. Casper and Casper's going to chase down now. Uh, Casper and Dodo got a five second. Yeah, well, you got a five second? Casper and Dodo, because I think they overtook Corb. And Malachi's out. Oh, Malachi must have spun himself. He's hit the wall. Corb, Corb. Corb and Malachi, I think. Oh, the Corp's also got his drive through as well. Oh, Wayne Look at Kino. Casper as well. Kino down the inside of the hairpin. We've seen this go wrong already. Is he going to back out? He's not backing out. He's got the bravery. Kino down the inside of Dom. Look at that. And through goes Rona Kino up to P7. Mal's being a frustrating seven. roadblock. Here we go. He's going to look at Koi. Koi switches to the inside. Mal's goes to the outside. They're going to go towards the hairpin to get the chicane together. Very, very close racing. He's going to have to go over the rumble strips. I think it's allowed Dodo to potentially get fast. Ka um, Koi, yeah, it will. Dodo with the battery on and with the DRS. Koi's going to drop down another position. Now Casper's probably smiling because finally there's some movement up ahead. Miles takes the P2 spot. Then Dodo gets through and Koi is now stuck behind in P4. There we go. Maybe, Dodo with the battery maybe. on. Trying to close P6. in on um, Miles here going towards turn one. Pulls to the outside. Going to be a race down into the corner. Late on the brakes by Miles. Even later there by Dodo. Not giving much room there. But that was really good racing. Going through turn two. Looks like the Hassan's going to try and hold it around the outside. Dodo, big snap there on the exit. That's going to allow Miles to get back around the outside. They're going to go Wilson will, will go towards turn three. But Miles gets back through. Question is who's going to get P2 on track? I have no idea. Dodo can have a look around the outside. Koi might have a look down the inside. Here comes the McLaren. He's sticking his nose down there. I don't know if his exit will be too good, though. Battery on. Burn everything now. The car needs to be exhausted. The fuel needs to be gone. Dodo with the battery and with the DRS is going to lean towards. He's pushing for the position to get past Mal. Pulls to the inside. The outside, I should say, towards the chicane. Dodo's going to get through up to P2 on track. Is Koi going to be able to make anything of it? Round right the three final corners. Matea Manga wins the Canadian Grand Prix. Dodo's going to finish on track P2. But what on earth is going to happen with positions? Koi up to P2. Kino takes that P2. Conan. And then Koi P3. Kasper P4. Dodo P5. Based on P6. Bailey P7. Aya P8. Mal's is still going down to P10 after finishing the race P3 on track. Unreal. With a five second removal, though, he would be back up to P6. But. So big. Also, I've realised, even if Dodo gets his five-second removed, he's still behind Ronan. Wow. Yeah, you're right. So Ronan's doing an absolute smasher. He's stayed off the trap limits. That enables him to get to the position.